Today I want to share with you the differences between a trademark and an LLC and which you should pursue first for your business. Ready? Let's do this. If you are an entrepreneur, whether you're just getting started or maybe you've been in business for a while, chances are you probably want to make sure that you're doing things the right way. In other words, that you're doing everything you need to do to legally protect your business, to protect your personal assets, to pay the least amount of money you can in taxes, to make sure your brand is protected, all of these things. Am I right? But here is the problem that I see so many of you face is you don't know where to start. You're not sure what type of legal protections you need to get in place first. And most of you by default think, oh, you know what? I need to go get that LLC. So what do you do? You run off to your secretary of state's office and you go and you file that LLC. Maybe you do it right, maybe you don't. You don't give it much thought, but you think, okay, I can check that off my list. I've got that done. And then a lot of you are also probably also thinking trademarks, that sounds great, but I probably don't need that right now. Those are really meant for big corporations, and so I don't need to worry about that, and so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'll just let that go for the time being. Sound like a good plan? Let's do it. So before you start down one of those paths, if any of this is making sense to you, I want to share with you today kind of the differences between trademarks and LLCs and what I think you should do first. Now, mind you, I am not, this is not the end all be all. I'm just one person. If you ask 10 lawyers what they think, they're going to give you 10 different opinions. Some of them might agree with me. Some of them probably won't agree with me. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Hopefully you're okay with that. What I really want you to understand here is that every situation is different. And if you were to sit down with me and have a consultation and we talked about your situation, I might tell you something different than what I'm telling you in this video. So I just want you to understand, this video is not to be construed as legal advice, but this is just my personal opinion of what I think the vast majority of businesses should do, either whether they're just getting started or whether they've been in business and they've just kind of neglected all that legal stuff, you know, for a while, which does happen, but you really should probably talk to somebody if that's going on with you. Let's start with everybody's favorite topic and that is LLCs. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this. I've done a gazillion videos on LLCs and I'm sure you can find them on my channel. But what you need to know is essentially what an LLC is, it stands for Limited Liability Company. It is a legal mechanism to protect your personal assets, or I should say, the personal assets of the business owner from the debts and obligations of the business. That's, that's basically what an LLC does. It's called limited liability company for a reason because it limits your liability for damages or losses or debts or things like that from the business. Other major benefit of LLCs is that if you're making enough money with your business, you can elect to be taxed as an S corporation. You cannot do that if you don't have an LLC and that provides some additional tax benefits and savings as well. The LLC itself does not provide any tax benefits at all, but it does afford you the luxury of electing that S corporation tax status should you wish to do that. So that's an LLC. Now let's talk about trademarks. When you have a registered trademark, that means you filed an application with the USPTO, that's the United States Patent and Trademark Office, and you've gone through the entire process that right now is taking 12 to 18 months, and you get that certificate back from the USPTO office that says you have a registered trademark for a brand, for a logo, for a slogan, for your podcast, for your signature course for whatever it is that you want to protect, it says that you own that name, uh, you own that logo, you own whatever it is in connection with the goods and services that you are selling. And that means that nobody else in the United States, or if you elect to extend your trademark protection to other countries, you can do that too. But for purposes of today, let's talk about the United States. So in the United States, that means that nobody else can use that name, that slogan, that logo, whatever it is that you've created on your own, nobody can use that in connection with similar goods and services as what you are selling. It means basically that you own your name. Now you should be aware that just because you registered a web domain, that doesn't mean you own that name. Just because you filed an LLC doesn't mean you own the name. Just because you filed a DBA in your state doesn't mean you own the name. Just because you did, you might have even filed a state trademark. Well, that protection extends to the, the borders of your state only. And if somebody else has a federal trademark for the same name, it's going to supersede your rights. So you need to understand there are limitations to what you actually own when we're talking about the name of your business, or like I said, 
the logo or slogan or whatever it is that you own, there are limitations if you don't have that registered trademark. But when you have that registered trademark, now you start to have some very concrete, very real legal rights to your name. And I've talked about this before, but there are three main benefits to owning that registered trademark. Now, you can own a trademark without registering it with the USPTO. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here. I tend to do that, sorry about that. You have what are called common law rights if you don't actually register your name with the USPTO. But if you have registered your name with the USPTO, then you actually have legitimate legal rights. It means you can stop somebody from using your name. You can send them a cease and desist. You can sue them in court. You can do all sorts of different things that you can't do unless you have that registered certificate from the US Patent and Trademark Office. So that's why it's so important. Now, as I was mentioning, there are three main benefits to registering your trademarks. The first benefit is you will know with certainty that you're not accidentally infringing on somebody else. What do I mean by that? I mean that you could be using a name, you may have done a search, maybe you did a good search, maybe you did a bad search, that happens sometimes, but you, uh, and you think that you have the right to use a name, and so you start using it, but you don't ever apply for trademark protection. That means that somewhere along the line, you might find out because you get a cease and desist letter from someone that they actually own the rights to that name. I, I've seen situations where people have hired me to do trademark searches for them. When I've done the search, it's turned up other names that are problematic for my client. It's better to know that very early on in the process and rebrand on your terms than it is to find out after your, your company is actually making money and you're building a brand for yourself then finding out that somebody else is coming in and telling you, you know what, you can't use this name. That's a, that's a very expensive, very serious problem to have and you don't wanna get in that situation. You do not wanna be what's called an accidental infringer. That's, uh, prob or that's benefit number one of registering your trademarks. Uh, benefit number two of registering your trademarks is that you don't need to worry about somebody stealing your brand. So on the flip side, you may have a name that's that's totally available and nobody's using it, and if you never file the trademark application for that name, after you get to a certain size, the public start, might start to take some notice of your name, and you might have some copycats out there. And those copycats, there's nothing to stop them from going and filing their own registration with the US Patent and Trademark Office. I've talked about this before. It's a first to file system at the US Patent and Trademark Office. So that means the first person to file an application for a certain name is going to have priority over that name. And so that's the second main benefit of having a trademark is that you know that nobody can steal that name from you down the road. The third main benefit is kind of an ancillary benefit, but if you are interested in selling your business at some point in the future, and, and that's something that's really important to you, then having your trademarks registered and protected and having those certificates is really important because that's one of those things that the buyer's lawyer is gonna come in and they're gonna check the box and say, okay, do they have their registered trademarks? Because if they don't, it's a big red flag. It could decrease the value of your business. It could decrease the offer that you receive to buy your business. It could cause buyers to walk away from purchasing your business. So it could cause all sorts of things. And there is a fourth benefit, and that is that if you want to grow the business in other ways, having those registered trademarks can allow you licensing and franchising opportunities that you would not otherwise have if you just um, had common law rights to your trademarks. All right, before we get to what I think you should do first, trademarks or LLCs, I wanna take a quick break. I don't have coffee today because as I'm recording this, it's actually in the afternoon here. And I've found that when I drink coffee afternoon, especially that Portuguese coffee that comes in little espressos that's really, really strong, it is a problem for me come nighttime. And yes, I'm one of those people that just cannot fall asleep. So uh, I am not drinking coffee today. I'm drinking, and this, this video is not promoted, but this is my favorite, favorite drink here in Portugal. It's called Pedras and it is, I'm drinking the Red Foods flavor today, which is like strawberries and raspberries and stuff. I don't know why they just don't make strawberry because that'd be so much better, right? But anyway, this is what I'm drinking today in a nice old regular cup. It's like this water, but it's effervescent and they've got a little bit of sugar in it, but not too much. It's only got like 10 or 20 calories per, per bottle, but it's really refreshing and great. It's probably gonna make me belch a little bit. Sorry about that. 
I'm guessing this is gonna make you wanna come to Portugal and check out the, the Pedrush. And they've got it in all sorts of different flavors. I don't mean to be a spokesperson. I probably should be a spokesperson. I drink enough of this stuff each day. So. All right, so now the moment you've been waiting for, I'm gonna share with you what I think you should do first. I'll be honest with you. It really depends on you. It depends on your business goals. It depends on how important the name you've chosen is to you and what you're doing with your business. It depends on how risky a business you are in. It depends on what state you live in. That is to say that whether you go with the trademark first or the LLC first depends on a lot of factors. Now, if you're just getting started and you can only afford to do one, and this is probably gonna surprise you, or maybe not, I would recommend you do the trademark first. If you can, if you can, I think that's most important. I think it's most important to protect your name because as you're just getting started, you're not gonna have any liabilities in your business because you're just getting started. Somebody could come in and steal your name from you or you could be using somebody else's name accidentally. So I think it's really important when you're just getting started to register your trademark first and you can always assign that trademark to your LLC if and when you decide to form an LLC for your business. So you can always do that later on and it's not a big deal. It does cost a little bit of money, but at that point, hopefully you're gonna be making enough money in your business that that is not going to be a major hurdle to you moving forward and you'll, you'll have all your ducks in a row at that point. Unless you live in a state like New York where it's really expensive to set up an LLC, Massachusetts is pretty expensive to, sell up an, to set up an LLC, California is pretty expensive to set up an LLC, unless you live in one of those three states, if you live in any other state, it's not that expensive to set up an LLC and I would recommend doing them both at the same time. Now, technically, you're gonna set up the LLC and you need to get that paperwork from your state first and then you're gonna go ahead and submit the paperwork for the trademark. If you do it the reverse, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna do it at the same time and you submit the paperwork for your trademark and list the LLC as an, as the party that owns the trademark, but the LLC isn't actually formed yet, then that's a problem. So you wanna make sure you've got the LLC in place first, and then you file the paperwork for the trademark. If you can afford to do that, that's what I would recommend you do. I think that's the best option for most people. And really the only situation where what I would recommend you do the LLC first and hold off on the trademark is if maybe you're doing business under your own personal name, you know, or under a generic name for your business, or you've got a really descriptive name that, that other people are using also for their business. Now, I don't think that's a great branding choice for your business, but if you have a name or you're using a name that isn't really capable of trademark protection, then chances are doing the LLC first would be the smarter choice. But if you're using a brand that you really like and you've got a name that you've come up with that you think is a great name and you wanna make sure it's protected, you wanna make sure nobody else is using it, then doing the trademark for first is going to be the smarter choice. And which basically means that for almost all the rest of you out there, I would not recommend doing the LLC first and then doing the trademark later. I just think, I think your name of your business is, is who you are. And if you don't have that name or if that name gets taken away from you, there's just uh, too many bad things can happen and it can cost you too much money down the road. Uh, which is why I don't typically recommend that. So make sure you do your trademark first. Thanks for watching, folks. If you got more questions about how to set up your trademark properly or mistakes that people make when they're setting up their trademark or their LLC, I've got some videos here that you might wanna watch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.